Kimberly is attempting to drive. And she's <laughs> actually doing fairly well. I didn't hit anything yet. morning it's the end of week five post stem cell treatment my mom and I are on our way to the chiropractor what's that talk differently she doesn't like the way I'm talking right now I'm talking the way I'm talking I'm moving very slowly got up and fell down for the first time in a while this morning took three days of him because there's no way that I'm going to be able to get through everything today. My noise sensitivity, sound sensitivity, that's the same thing. Light sensitivity, movement. Last week I went to this new chiropractor for the first time, which really gave me some relief, like instantly. However, it popped back out of place very quickly, which is common for me I just don't hold getting my neck adjusted again is definitely going to help with vertigo my vision and everything gets better after I get my second cervical vertebrae back in place again TMI for the guys I got my period today which is great because it's been five months since I've gotten it I'm still figuring out my armor thyroid dosage going to be getting a test done to see where those levels are at today. What else is going on? I don't know. It's just been tough. It's It's been uh, this last week's been Yeah, it's been a really, really rough week. I had my mom come back home from work yesterday because I was feeling so... I don't even know how to put like a term to it or a label to it or anything like that. I just didn't feel right. I was... I was, uh, didn't feel like I was walking on the ground, was I, I know for sure, and I, I know I told you something else too, and I can't remember, just, I didn't feel like I could see, my vision was You've awful again, dreams. yeah, I've been having really bad dreams, like, just nightmares, and then restless leg, oh, and the candida is, I think, a huge part of it, or yeast slash mold, like, all that crap that's in the body that, it makes the smell of ammonia in my nose, like under my arms. It's always very prevalent whenever I have these symptoms pop up. And um, I think that there's other things going on as well, but I think that that's a huge contributor of what's going on. So we're at the chiropractor right now. I'll catch up with you guys a little bit. Just finished up with the chiropractor and had my C2 and my L5 out. My nemesis, the ones that have been out for years consistently. And I think I feel a little bit of relief from my neck for sure. We're on our way to go see my general practitioner for the second time that we've seen this guy. I know. He doesn't know anything about your cells. Oh yeah, he doesn't know about the stem cell stuff yet because it's been about probably like four months since I've seen him now. He's kind of a little bit of more open-minded Western medical doctor. Still definitely had a lot of kind of doubts about, you know, where the medical community was going with the LLMDs and, you know, people making money off of it and all the typical stuff, you know, but was also a little bit more open-minded towards that. Just saw my doctor, um, my general doctor. We talked about stem cells and the research. He had done a lot of research. He was like very interested in this and I hope that not on the stem cells, but just in, on Lyme in general and gone back with through all my test results and kind of said, well, the IgM is up for the acute Lyme, which you had at some point, but the IgG isn't there. And I was kind of explaining between the T and B cells. And he's like, yeah, I've done some reading on that, but I can't say yes or no, you know, between if that is actually a thing or not. And it's just kind of like guesswork at this point. So it was just kind of, um, you know, there's not really any data, which there isn't, but it's all like trial and error at this point. So um, he's very open-minded, very um, 
much invested in my case and so that's very appreciative very interested to see how the stem cells go and he's like I might learn something so that's definitely something you can appreciate from a doctor if they're open-minded enough to learn something and you know maybe put it into their own practice or then further investigate it on their own now I'm gonna go get my blood work done get some um, the labs done for my hormone my hormones and everything like that and um, then come back and get a port flush done go from there I'm not sure exactly where I left off with my last clip I ended up going to the grocery store to get a couple things and to Costco to grab a couple things with my mom which is great because they wouldn't have been able to do that a month ago. I came back home and was exhausted, made myself some food, and ended up just kind of vegging out. I didn't fall asleep today, which I've been napping a lot. Yesterday I actually had two naps and still slept 12 hours through the night. So that's definitely like the most likely STEM related stuff. However, I don't know if, you know, there's something in the house that could be mold or something. We know there's mold in the washer. Or if there's something else going on in the environment that is causing me to go down. Or if this is just neural repair. It's hard to say. When I was gone in Tahoe for two weeks and when I was in uh, L.A. for two weeks, I was going through a lot while I was in LA, but I didn't have quite these same things going on. And then as soon as I got back, I think it was like, I started having the fatigue in Tahoe, but I didn't have the brain fog and the neuro symptoms and everything that I have going on now. Um, until I think I'll have to look back at my other vlogs. I think it was probably about maybe three or four days after I got back home. So I don't know what that's contributed to. We are getting a new washer that has definitely got mold in it. Those front loading washers are notorious for them and it's visible. And then we're looking into doing some, we've had mold testing done in the house, but doing some scraping on the walls, a different type of mold test to see if something comes back, at least for the laundry room. Um, so that's kind of where we're at now. Got. Um, a lot of work done today, gonna wait and see what those results are. Pretty much it for week five. It's been a hard week. I've been mentally down for sure. Um, last week it started and this week was just down like all week. Like, And I, I tried yesterday, I did art yesterday. My phone memory got full. <laughs> um, so yesterday I, I did art, I cooked, I what did I do? I did stuff yesterday. There were things I kept trying. I took the dog out for a bike ride. I, I tried doing yoga. I tried doing yoga the last three days now. I think it was actually. And it's I've been having trouble even just staying a down dog. Which is, I was doing yoga every day for a month. I was getting stronger and stronger. And then all of a sudden it just plummeted. So... It's a good sign that something's going on. I don't know if it's neuro repair. I don't know if it's other things that are going on. It's it's tough to say. But either way, it's been a little bit of racing thoughts, depression, anxiety, like more like just like sudden panic out of nowhere, which is very consistent with um, candida and fungal infections for me personally, um, along with other physical symptoms that are going on with yeast and candida stuff, definitely smelling ammonia is one of them. Word searching, brain fog, just confusion overall. Time by myself to just get out of the noise and the movement and all that good stuff. But then also, um, like yesterday, asking my mom to play cards with me so that I tried and, you know, was trying to be interactive in a way that I felt comfortable with. So that's where I am right now, and I know that there's going to be ups and downs during this journey. It's not something that I'm like, oh my god, you know, where did this come from? But it is not any easier. 
I don't think, to take, other than you kind of maybe have an explanation or at least a couple things to choose from. So I will talk to you guys next week. Uh, thanks for joining me on my journey, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.